together. And don't forget the millions of Kiwis that are up watching this right now. I think it's about five in the morning back on that little island, and they're just licking their chops right now. They're saying, Auckland, here we come. Two islands, Kenny. Two islands. Sorry, two islands. Sorry. Digesting their early morning cornflakes, <laughs> wiping the sleep from their eyes, and recognizing that their team is close now. Very, very close indeed. Could be two more jibes in, though. Elite may possibly one more jibe in. Let's see if they can soak down, because this is kind of an interesting angle into the finish line. Let's see if they can soak and get there. So the USA desperately trying to chase the Kiwis down, but the game is up. There will be no fairy tale come back this time around. Jimmy Spithill has lost his magic wand, and in the meantime, the Kiwis, innovative in their design, intense in their focus, resilient throughout the time here in Bermuda. The New Zealanders peddling into the history books. The America's Cup wrestled from the USA by Burling's men in black. The trophy belongs to New Zealand. All that heartache and pain of San Francisco replaced by jubilation here in Bermuda. <laughs> and four and a half million people on the other side of the planet let out an almighty roar. Probably come the Americans' back, Tommy, challenge yeah. is over. I just turned down, the Tommy, you just turned down, down we got through. Is over. Um, my wing. It's been a brave fight. They've done everything within their powers to make it more Have competitive, but Have ultimately very well beaten. Great sportsmanship from those on board the two boats. And of course, tremendous celebrations can now begin. Absolutely magic what this team has done. They have broken so many trends. How they train, where they train, how they stayed away from the fray, the innovation in a boat that innovations, frankly, were trying to be eliminated. So I, you can't give this team enough credit. Well, they have earned their celebrations. Peter Burling, the spearhead catapulted into a whole new realm of stardom now, the youngest ever helmsman to win the cup, but he and his men emulating the class of 1995 and 2000, and let's not forget Glenn Ashby, joining the ranks of the greats now, included in uh, one of the most exclusive of clubs, a winning America's Cup skipper. So let's have a word with Peter Burling, the helmsman who has led the Kiwis to victory. Peter, congratulations. You can let it all out now. Tell us how it feels. Yeah, you know, it's just unreal. You know, it's exactly what we came here to do. And, you know, we're just uh, go on top of the world. You know, it's um, been three years of hard work from so many people on the team. You know, there's probably 100 people working at time. You know, straight at this goal. Beauty. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is exactly what we came here for. So, uh, we're, we're on top of the world. Peter, we'll let you soak this up for a second. Can you do us a favor and tell us a little bit, you know, Glenn Ashby, the guy that sits in front of you every day, just give us a little insight into Glenn and what he's done for the program and uh, as the skipper of the boat and kind of the guy who had to take you from that last San Francisco event onto this one. Yeah, you know, he obviously plays a massive part in what we do, but, you know, Blair as well, trimming the foil, uh, Andy and you know, everyone on the whole team. You know, you can see how much we're all, we're all uh, ecstatic about, you know, what we've managed to achieve here, and we're just uh, absolutely on top of the world, so uh, it's going to be a good night. <laughs> it's going to be a good night. Um, uh, Peter, but, you know, I appreciate the bar, Glenn Ashby. You guys weren't involved in San Francisco in 2013, but I'm sure that there are plenty in behind you for whom that was a major motivation. Just tell us tell us what it means to, to lay that ghost to rest. Oh, for sure, you know, and I definitely don't think we'd be here without the, you know, that heartache of, of San Francisco and uh, it's something that Bermuda's put on an absolutely amazing event here. You know, you can't complain, the weather's been absolutely, absolutely perfect. And it's something that, you know, we're just absolutely blown away by the you know, support we've been getting on shore and, and back home. And you know, we're really excited to share with everyone now.
Peter, many congratulations. Enjoy your celebrations. It's been great watching you. Yeah, thanks, man. And those celebrations will surely last long into the night. And after all the hours of training, the sacrifices that have been made, the time away from home, the intensity of this competition over the last five weeks, this champagne will taste pretty good. I think what he said was it's, uh, it's going to be a big night. That could be. This kid has been the master of understatement. That might have been the biggest one yet. So we pause for the Moet moment as Grant Dalton emerges, the CEO of Emirates Team New Zealand. Very much a guiding light. Matteo Denora, the team principal. <laughs> Time to party. Pop them all over New Zealand. Come on, let's go. Nobody's going to work in New Zealand today. <laughs> oh, if you don't want to get soaked with that champagne, that guy, you're not thinking very clearly. <laughs> Fantastic. Yep. Well, it's a wonderful moment to be enjoyed. They have earned it, they have dug in. And they have just come through in such wonderful style. Barely troubled, if we're honest, during the match itself. Let's remember, they arrived with minus one point to their name on account of the Americans winning the qualifying stage. So, a tremendous effort. So, let's have a word with Jimmy Spithill. Jimmy, commiserations. I know you will feel this very keenly, but uh, what are your emotions right now? Oh, look, we're disappointed, obviously. Um, but first of all, Full credit to Team New Zealand, I mean, man, what a, uh, what a series, really made few mistakes and, uh, and they fully deserve it, so our hats are off to them. Jimmy, Team New Zealand showed up with a little different boat from everybody else. You guys all, the, the rest of the group did a lot of training together, kind of followed a similar path. Team New Zealand departed. Did you have a feeling that they might be onto something when they showed up here and kind of were showing off their cool new toys? I think it's always hard to know, you know, there's always that anticipation and they clearly, you know, they were down there training on their own and, man, you've really got to give credit to them. I mean, what an incredible job they've done, um, but let's not forget they also sailed very, very well. First jibe, I mean, here you go, uh, you're, you're leading that mark number one, first jibe, faster boat or a little, little soft in the maneuver, take us through that moment and, and uh, was the writing on the wall right there? Yeah, look, I mean, we were obviously pretty focused on getting that reef mark in the first place today, and the boys did a great job there. Yeah, unfortunately, they were that was a quicker boat today downwind for sure. Um, it was uh, very, very tough to keep close. I thought upwind the boats were a lot more competitive. I thought the boys were doing a great job tacking, but downwind they had the speed. Well, Jimmy, it's been fun to watch all this. I mean, reflect. My goodness, how many America's Cups in a row now? And, uh, and, and what's the future for Jimmy Spithill? Just, just take us for at least the next uh, couple weeks and maybe couple months. How do, how do you get over this? How does this work? I'm not sure. Um, I've just spent so much time and energy on really just one day at a time. But uh, yeah, we'll just get back. I really want to go and thank you know, the entire team. And uh, we'll take it from there. Um, but, you know, the boys have got to hold their heads up, heads up high. They've fought hard the whole way. Very proud of them, and, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks very much, though, boys. Appreciate it. Jimmy, thank you very much Thanks, for your Jimmy. time. Congratulations on a, a tremendous campaign. As we said to Peter Burling, it's been fantastic watching you. So, real uh, emotion in the voice of Jimmy Spithill, and you can only imagine the emotions swirling in his head right now. Here's the, uh, the race summary as a whole, and the